Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing a visa run uh, to Laos. So what's a visa run? I'm sure some of you guys don't know what a visa run is. So pretty much means that the visa that you're on right now in the, in the country you're in is going to expire. So what you have to do is you have to get out of that country before you get in, into trouble if you overstay on your, your visa. You might get charged like a few fees. I'm not quite sure how much the fees are but in order to like you know avoid all that fees, just make sure you leave uh, leave the country in time before your like, visa expires. Just go to any other neighboring country like maybe Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, all that stuff. Go there, apply for a new visa at a Thai consulate embassy over there at their um, the countries. Get a new uh, sixty day tourist visa, and you come back to Thailand, and they can stamp you in. And then, if you want to stay a little longer, you just have to fill out another application for the um, the Thai consulate in in Thailand to actually extend your visa for another thirty days. So that way, you have a full ninety days in Thailand. So that will last you for three months. So that's what we are going to be doing, and we will show you guys how much we spent to get our new visas. So transportation there, uh, application processing fees, all that stuff and then transportation back and hopefully you guys have an idea of how much we spent and for those that's planning to do a visa run hopefully that helps and hopefully you have an idea of how much it'll cost you to get a new visa if you guys are interested keep watching and this is as of now November 2018 okay so step by step of how to get your visas keep watching Alright, so once you uh, buy your transportation ticket to go to Udon Handy, you want to come over here to the RK bus station 2. Then you can uh, exchange your e ticket to that booth over there. It's, it's, I'll show you guys. If you want to go to this little booth over here, this little, little red banner, and it'll actually say um, Pet Plus or whatever uh, the name is of the, the booth. It's going to be on your e-ticket as well, so just uh, match that name to the uh, booth. Give her your e-tickets and then she'll print out your uh, seat uh, ticket. And then you're going to walk across to the arcade number 3. Now follow us. Alright, so like I said, we're in uh, Chiang Mai Arcade Station 2. Now we're going to go across to the Chiang Mai uh, Arcade 3. It's just directly across. Okay, so to save all that trouble, going to the arcade number two, walking across the street, just come straight to the arcade three, which is the one that you're gonna have to be in, and they also have a booth over here. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we just got on our bus. First class. Yep. No, is it? It's not first class. Oh, okay. But hey, it looks pretty comfortable. I think this is a TV right here. And. Ready for a 12 hour drive? Uh, yes. I, am. <laughs> I hate I hate long drives. Alright, hello everyone. So as of now, we just got onto our bus. Uh, everyone's still loading up their uh, luggages, and everything under the bus, and then after that, we are taking taking off to Wudong Tang Central Plaza. There's then, two levels. Yep, there's two levels of the bus. Uh, you should uh, we should have shown you guys uh, what type of bus it is, but it's alright. Maybe we'll show it to you guys later when we get there. Alright, so we just got some free water, juice, and cookie snacks. Alright guys, just a quick update. We're about 2 hours into our time. I think right now it's around 7. We're at our first stop, picking up some uh, extra people, and we have about 10 hours, 10 more hours to go. Alright everyone, just want to give you guys a quick update. I think right now it is around 9.25 p.m. We're about four hours into our trip. We still have about six hours left until we get to our destination. And we're actually on our um, second stop over here in 7-Eleven. Uh, All right, so we finally made it to uh, our stop over here at Udon Tani. We're over here at this little ticket booth to uh, purchase a bus ticket to head out to Long Kai Cross the border, but I guess we're here a little early, about an hour, an hour and a half early. It's pretty tired, but the bus 
or the van is not here yet, so we're gonna have to wait. Unless we wanna take some tuk tuks, and but that's gonna be pretty expensive. Yeah, so we, we got out from this bus, and then we were greeted with a whole bunch of tuk tuks people offering us right to the uh, border or wherever we wanna go. So we uh, declined it because it's gonna be pretty expensive. So we we are waiting to purchase a ticket over here at the school. So. We'll report back when uh, the bus or the van comes at 6 o'clock, which is in another hour. So, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> okay, so we just bought our uh, bus ticket to Nong Hai. Got our tickets, it only cost us like 50, 50 baht each, so that's about a dollar fifty each. So if you're approached by tukus, try to avoid them because they're gonna uh, charge you like 300 baht just to get to uh, Nong Kai. So this is the cheaper alternative for you if you wanna save money. 50 baht and then there's a bus or minivan that comes every 30 minutes. So if you can wait, then there you go, you can save some money. 50 baht. Alright, we are here at the Dong Kai custom boundary border okay so we just got dropped off over here at the uh, Nong Kai uh, border and now we're gonna hit the immigration check to cross and we'll actually to get through the immigration find the bus cross the friendship bridge okay so uh, immigration check was a breeze we bought our ticket over here at this little counter for like 15 baht or 20 baht and now we're heading on the bus to cross over the friendship bridge Okay, so we arrived here at the uh, border of uh, Laos, and then now we're filling out our visa application on arrival. So, if you're from the U.S. or any other countries, then uh, you have to pay like a certain fee to get a Laos visa in order for you to enter Laos. All right, so this is where you have to get your uh, visa on arrival application and your departure car and arrival car. So after that, you fill it out, pay the necessary fees. And then you wait at a window number three to get your uh, passport and everything. And then you're ready to go to enter. All right, we made it out from the immigration office. And now we are going to the right to find a bus. That's it, that's it. Okay. Get on, get on, baby. We just have to pay for it. All right, we just got into the bus, heading to the Intent uh, City. It was um, pretty hard, like walking through all this like crowd of uh, two two cars. <laughs> but anyways, oh no, no, no! Oh, like 100 baht, 100 baht. Nope. Anyways, yep, we're heading to the Intent City, and after that, we're finding another transportation to go to the embassy to turn in our applications and everything, so hopefully it goes well. Oh, get our uh, visa application filled out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Now's the waiting game. Wait to turn in our applications, right? Turning in our um, visa applications. Okay, so once you turn in your uh, application over here at this little desk, they'll give you like a queue number, which is this number. I have a 169. So that means that tomorrow uh, you're going to be called based on your number. So I'm going to have to wait until number 169 
to get my uh, passport and hopefully my new visas on it. So maybe tomorrow at 3 p.m. then I'll, we'll probably come back and get our visas and we should be good and just head back to time. Process is pretty easy. It's pretty simple. It's not too uh, complicated. I think the only complicated thing today was uh, trying to get here with uh, transportation and all that stuff. Hopefully we get our new visas on it. If not, then we're screwed. But anyways, come on. Okay, so right now it's around 12.30. We have like one more hour until we're, we're able to pick up our passport. And so we're just here waiting. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes uh, since they started calling out the numbers. And we have about 30, 40 more numbers left until it's our turn. So I'm saying, I'm guessing like another 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so when you go up to get your visas and uh, passport, make sure you have 1,000 baht for the fee, okay? Yeah, so make sure. Just paper. Yes, if you number. So make sure you have all that. All right, 133. We are number 169 and 170. Alright, so we just got done picking up our passport. Good thing we got a visa, so uh, if you don't get your visa, then I don't know what you have to do after that. But I think most likely you'll be getting your visa if you filled out all the forms correctly and pay the fees. Alright you guys, so today we're going back home. Our flight is at 2 o'clock and right now it's 6.50 in the morning. Uh, hopefully we can cross the border smoothly and... Um, back in time to teach so that's our plan all right you guys we are on a t2 and it's going to take us straight to the french bridge and we are leaving now Folks, so we are finally back in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So I'm just gonna recap all the whole, all all the steps that we did to get our visas. Okay, so first of all, book your um, bus ticket, plane ticket on 12go.asia.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Check it out. Uh, we bought our bus tickets there. Uh, we arrived at the the bus station, Chiang Mai. If you're in Chiang Mai, then you're gonna have to go to the Chiang Mai RK bus station three. Um, print out your e ticket. From your email if you purchase the ticket online print it out and then take it to the uh, red booth which I'm going to show you guys right now a picture on this video and then go to that booth uh, give them your e-ticket paper and then they'll print out your uh, bus ticket for you and then all you have to do is just wait at your bus number and then when your bus comes give them your ticket and then there you go there you go you just take off on, on that bus next I'm sure on your ticket it's going to say Udon Thani Central Plaza. So once you get dropped off at Udon Thani Central Plaza, you're gonna want to go to this um, little little house uh, right next, right in front of the Central Plaza Mall. Uh, from there, you can buy your uh, minivan ticket that'll actually take you to the Nong Kai border. But uh, keep in mind that they won't open until six, or there's no minivan until six o'clock in the morning. Uh, each ticket is 50 baht, so buy a ticket, they'll give you a number, uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.
if you miss the six o'clock one then there's one there's a minivan like every 30 minutes so buy that minivan ticket take that minivan all the way to the non-kai border it's going to take you about like 50 minutes and then they're going to drop you off like right by the border and then you're going to go through the thai immigration you're going to give them your passport they're going to stamp you out and then from there there's a booth on your right that'll actually uh, be selling you bus tickets for about 15 to 20 baht for a ticket so decline all those tuk tuk drivers because once you get past the immigration check there's going to be like a horde of tuk tuk drivers just asking you where do you want to go where are you going 100 baht all these stuff so um you could do that if you want but if you want to save money then like i said there's a booth right next to you on your right they're going to be selling you a bus ticket which is going to be 20 baht you buy that you give it to like the person collecting the ticket at the exit you hop onto the bus the bus is going to take you directly across the um the friendship bridge once you get off from the bus you are going to walk all the way to the left to like a building that says visa on arrival you will miss it it's gonna say visa on arrival um you're gonna they're gonna give you a visa application and a arrival and departure card where you're gonna have to fill out the arrival card and applications and if you're from the us the uk or any other uh, countries i'll put them all in the description below of which countries that has to pay for a lao visas so there are some countries that don't need to pay for lao visas but in my case i'm from the us um the visa application fee was about 35 dollars so fill out the application form and your arrival form uh, give it to the immigration officer and the visa on arrival office uh, you can either pay them in thai baht or us dollars so i paid in us dollars so 35 dollars okay so once you um turn in your application visas on window number one or two on the laos uh, immigration office uh, you have to wait on window number three to get your passport it's going to take about 10 minutes for them to um, print out your new visas and everything put it on your passport once you get it head straight through the uh, checkout and then from there you are going to uh, find a big green bus so once you exit you're going to be welcome with a whole bunch of tuk tuk drivers once again ignore all of them just tell them no you don't want their service head straight to the bus the big green bus on the right side of the road you want to take that bus to Vientiane city and once you get to the Vientiane city um, you are also going to be welcomed with more tuk tuk drivers so from there you can either walk to the embassy it's going to be about like a 15 minute walk if not then you could take uh, a tuk tuk and once you get to the embassy um, there's going to be a few other uh, people outside waiting for you they're going to be asking oh where do you want to go or do you have a uh, application we have application here we could help you fill it out for a fee or you could have an application here for a fee ignore all those people just head straight into the embassy ask for a, an application because the application is free so you don't want to get charged getting application outside so get the application inside uh, make sure you have uh, copies of your passport uh, if you don't have copies they have a, a photocopy or a copy machine on the side where you can actually just give them your passport they'll copy the um, right papers the right pages that you need to turn in and then yeah, I think it's only gonna cost you about like 20 to 40 baht around there it depends there just go and stay in line and once it's your turn turn in your paper and after you turn in the paper they're going to give you a queue number uh, and that number is the number that you're gonna be caught on the next day when you come back and pick up your passport so for me i was number 169 so i came back the next day i wait until they call up one number 169 for uh, in order for the for me to get my passport so once you get caught up uh, to get your passport uh, you have to pay a 1000 baht fee which is roughly 30 us dollars so hand them over hand over the uh your number and the 1000 baht and then they're gonna hand you a paper to uh, sign your signature and after that they're gonna give you your passport and check to see if you have your new thailand visas and if you have your new thailand visas and that's it it's pretty simple it's not too complicated i think the only complicated thing was uh finding transportation uh, from there and trying to find transportation back all that stuff it's like a headache 
So going back to Thailand is like repeating the same steps all over again, but this time you're starting from Laos. So you want to find a ride to the Friendship Bridge. It's either you take a minivan with people or you hire a tuk-tuk. So once you get to the border of Laos, you're going to go through in a Lao immigration. Give them your passport and your departure card. They're going to stamp you out. And after they stamp you out, you're going to find uh, bus tickets to your left. And it's about 4,000 kip, which is 20 baht each. Uh, you buy that ticket, you wait for another uh, bus, a green bus or white and blue bus. And then that bus is going to take you over the Friendship Bridge. And once you get over the Friendship Bridge, you are going to go uh, straight to the uh, Thai visa on arrival area. You're going to fill out the uh, TM6 arrival card. So fill that out. Um, go walk in through the Thai immigration, give them your passport and the, your arrival card. They're going to stamp you into Thailand and everything. And once you get stamped in, uh, it's, it's all about finding uh, another minivan back to Udon Thani Central Plaza and then taking a bus uh, back to Chiang Mai, a 12 hour uh, ride. Either that or if you have a flight ticket, there's going to be like a minivan uh, taxi guy he's going to be holding up like a little flyer saying that oh he'll take you to Udon Tani International Airport for uh, 150 baht so for us we bought a flight ticket so we took this service we paid 150 baht per person uh, that's around four dollars each person so we took a service he took us directly to the Udon Tani International Airport and then after that it's just all about checking in and then flying back to Chiang Mai and that's it. It's pretty simple. If it's your first time, it can be really uh, frustrating and confusing. But just remember that there's also like a lot of uh, Westerners and for tourist people that, that's there to do a visa run too. So if you don't know what to do, just follow them. And most likely you'll end up at the same place with them at the embassy. I hope you guys uh, learned something from that and I hope you guys find that helpful. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click uh, that button in the bottom right corner and um, turn on the bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of our future videos. And like I said again, um, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.